EPA's mission is to protect human health and the environment. It partners with various agencies and states, such as the California EPA, to gather data sets that it uses to record, analyze, and influence public policy. To facilitate these partnerships, distributed collaborations have been set up with various states. As Indu uh, said, there's, we have a collaboration set up with the California EPA. Data sets received from the California EPA are available in the California Collaboration Group. We want to append these data sets to our uh, system of record uh, for historical analysis and compliance. But before we do that, we need to make sure the data is clean and also identify any outliers that may need further investigation. To do that, we're going to use an ArcGIS notebook. First, this notebook finds any new data sets, validates its schemas, and appends it to the system of record feature services. Next, we want to determine if there are any outliers. Outliers are critical because it could indicate things such as wildfires or equipment malfunction. To do this, we would determine if any of the daily monitor readings differ significantly from the past 14 days. Using simple regression techniques, we've, using simple regression techniques we find that today's data set actually has one outlier in it. Collecting the information for this outlier, we display it on a box plot. Using a box plot is easy to visualize and understand why an identifier has been, uh, why an outlier has been identified. Of course, we can show this information on a map to see where its location is. Reacting to an identified outlier, we need to report this information to the California EPA. Using my enterprise print service, I can quickly generate a report, add it as a new item, and share it with the collaboration group. Since this collaboration is set up with send and receive communication, I know that the California EPA will receive this report so it can take appropriate action. Refreshing my collaboration group, I see that that report has now been shared appropriately. Webhooks can be used to send outlier report notifications to essential stakeholders, such as EPA analysts or state personnel. Here I have an existing webhook configured in my portal that will notify Microsoft's Power Automate anytime a new report is shared with this particular collaboration group. As a receiver of webhooks, Power Automate allows you to wire up a variety of business workflows and systems, such as Salesforce or BI dashboards. I have an existing flow that dissects the webhook payload from Portal and then uses this information to send an email that includes a link to the outlier report for quick access. Checking my email, I've received that email, and I'm able to quickly click on that link and open that report. Of course, these workflows must be configured to run automatically with no user interaction as data is received. This is where the exciting new scheduling of ArcGIS notebooks feature introduced earlier becomes a vital enabling technology. In summary, the geospatial cloud offers tools and capabilities to automate data workflows. From distributed collaborations that bridge silos between organizations, to webhooks that makes data actionable, to the new scheduling capabilities of ArcGIS notebooks that ties it all together, these features help you, the developer, build intelligent automation workflows in the modern world.